Well, welcome to Las Vegas, and this is Cars, Shops, and Collections. And on this episode, we're going back 100 years for our first ever Ford Model T, a 1914 Ford Model T. Our friends at Nevada Classics, they're the ones that own it. Original body, original fenders, and the craziest thing is, is how you start a Ford Model T. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the show. I appreciate everyone that watches. And also, too, if you want to get a shirt, cars, shops, and collections.com. Thanks for watching, and let's go check out a Ford Model T. Isaac, what is this? The 1914 Ford Model T Touring. Definitely not a Mopar. Nope, not a Mopar. <laughs> um, just a cool piece of history that, yeah. that we have good, parked. Good history. And, we, and Mike's gonna start it up for us? Mike's gonna yeah, start I'm it up for us. What's right the trick? Now. Do you wanna come around, Gene? What's yeah, the trick yeah. to starting this thing up? Don't fall anywhere, Gene. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is you gotta reach down here, this little guy, this little butterfly, and you gotta turn the gas on. No way. <laughs> yeah. All right. You gotta turn the gas on. You okay. gotta make sure you shut it off <laughs> once, you turn, <laughs> once you turn the engine off. Then, no, nope. come back over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't leave is it a crank? Yeah, oh yeah. No now, way. Now dig this. This is your choke. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyhow, you have to do this three times to get fuel up to the carburetor. <laughs> and that's your okay. uh, crankshaft holder? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, then you come over here. Dear Lord. This, this, <laughs> this little lever here, it advances and retards your distributor. It'll actually turn it. This is your throttle right here. Okay. Well, down here, I don't know if you can see it, but down here by my hand is a little button that you push for the electric start. But instead of a key, it has a switch. So we're gonna come down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that cool? That is real cool. But check this out. This is what's really cool. That is awesome. Isn't that something? 1914, runs like a clock. Right? Look at that, look how smooth. Yeah, it's not vibrating or anything. And this ME cam came up, drove up. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah we were like, that's, yeah. that's cool. It's just a cool piece, who has one, you know? Is this actual wood tire? Yeah, wood yeah, wood tire? that's the yeah. real deal. Whoa. And and all the lighting, the carriage lights, the headlights, and the tail light are all kerosene. Yeah, kerosene. Kerosene lights? Yeah. yeah. With wicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine in 1914, but, first yeah. of all, but here's, a convertible. Yeah, true. You were somebody so here's if you were really driving cool. this. You were backseat. You, yeah. you would take, and normally if there was a wick in there, you would open that little guy up, you would light it, shut this back, and if you look at the glass up here, it's like magnified. But that's just a bonus light? That's just what they call the carriage light. Yeah, oh, that's just like, okay, okay, I'm getting ready. I'm bringing that back. I'm putting I'm one of those, on, yeah. putting one of those now, on my Challenger. You should. Now, for the headlights, yeah. you're going to unscrew this little knob, and you're going to open it up. And the same thing, you're going to light the wick. Oh, so there's a wick inside here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you take and you close it back, and you thought, okay, we got a headlight. You go to the next one, yeah. you do it, so oh, on down the line. Yeah. And then the tail light, okay, honey, we're ready to go. <laughs> Better than hopping on the horse. <laughs> it certainly is. Yeah. At that point, I'm tired, though. I'm yeah. not going anywhere. It's, it's just, it's so cool. That is neat. It's a really it's cool just, piece of history. It really we is. Tried, they were trying to get the Dodge Brothers' old original car like this. Yeah. And somebody else ended up nabbing it. But is this like the steering wheel's original? Yeah. I, I would think, I don't, yeah. well, I don't know the answer, I'm it, sure. It may have been redone, right. but it's actually the framing. And this, is that a speedometer down there, up to 50 miles per hour? Is that yeah, else? it says 50, but you know what? <laughs> I think I'd be like really afraid to go there. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. But anyhow, one of these days, I haven't driven it yet, but one of these days within the next couple of weeks, I want to take it out and drive yeah. it through the neighborhood. We're gonna have the street. Nevada Classics Parade. Yes. We're just gonna take all these down the street. Yeah. Fourth of July parade. If you notice, there's no door here right. because this is where your shifter and your e-brake is oh, yeah. and all that. But everything else, there's a door over there. Yeah. There's one right here. But just the wood too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wood floor. Wood floor. Yeah. 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 And the gas tank is underneath the seat. The seat. The front seat. And so back here, there would be a. Um, just a kerosene light. Yeah. Kerosene yeah. light for your yeah. tail light. Yeah. Yep. But it's your backup camera. Man. 
<laughs> yeah, back, yeah. I didn't see the GPS. Yeah, really. This is neat, man. This is really That's cool. You, when you sent me this picture, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah okay. But the wooden spoke wheels is just That's, yeah. off the hook. That's, hook, That's you know? really neat. Cool feature. The tires, like almost like bicycle tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. Real thin. Remind me of mountain bike tires, yeah. you know? Yeah. Can you get those at discount tires? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Go really. with any four of these. Yeah, <laughs> good luck on that. Oh, man. But it's a trip. It really is. They That's were, a cool purchase, they man. They were into their brass and all that yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. This and, is. Uh, yeah, squeeze it hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a neat thing. It still works. It does. Yeah. Working yeah. horn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a clown. Yeah, it sure yeah. does. That's a, it's a neat little piece of history right there. 1914. Yeah, totally amazing. But we really wanted that Dodge Brothers yeah, car. Yeah, would have been cool. But somebody else grabbed it, and it, we just we didn't care if it ran or not. Right. We just wanted it for the history. Yeah. It wasn't like it was going to be a resale item. Right. It was going to be more of a conversation piece. Yeah, you know? and that's what I like about you guys. You're into preserving car yeah, history too. Exactly. And we, you know, we know you're Mopar people, right. but you do respect all cars, of Ford. Absolutely. There's a couple Mustangs thing, in here and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. John goes, well, I missed that one, but I'm getting this yeah, one. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Mike, yeah. Oh, believe it or not, this is what they carried their kerosene in. <laughs> okay. No kidding. That's what this is all about, yeah. That's what they carried their kerosene. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. But the uh, carriage lights, the headlights, all that stuff, and what I want to do, they don't have any in it. They don't have any of the wicks in them, but you can go down and you can buy them. So I'm going to get the wicks, kerosene them up, and get them all working, you yeah. know, just for GP. Mm -hmm. You know, I figure, what the heck? I think it'd just be cool. Let's do an engine swap. Put a Hemi in there. Right, let's, there come on, go. let's do there it there up. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Dodge's last call. Come on now. <laughs> We're just getting started. That's this cool, man. They wore the, the goggles and the gloves. And the yeah, you, yeah, you can. Yeah. The flyer's cap. You know? Yeah, but the windshield's really big, though, to protect everything. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's a trip. Yeah, yeah. You, you were pimping in 1914. Yeah, if you, if yeah, you, you were somebody. Yeah, too so, bad there's no highways to drive it on. Right. We get the car, and I'm thinking, how in the hell do I even start this thing? So uh -huh. I found instructions so that were yeah. just scribbled out the, you know? the thing is uh, no one's gonna steal this because no one can start no. it and i'm looking for oh yeah pull the ring and crank the engine over three times <laughs> okay where's the ring i'm yeah. looking all over <laughs> for this ring well that was uh, the choke ring oh, in the front so you good. know that's so good that's cool a little car shops and collections hey, bonus when you look at it check this out this is really cool you can see the little linkage that goes up to the distributor so when oh, yeah. you're, you're moving the timing on it and everything. But look at the little brass goody for the fan and it almost looks like a mini blower bill, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's just the craftsmanship that went into the car was actually pretty good. Yeah. Wasn't half bad. Look at the spark plug wires, how they're all coated with that special, it's actually a cloth type material. And that's original then? From 1914 they're doing that? Uh, that's what they did in 1914, but this is, uh, the, probably been all replaced yeah yeah you know still yeah. but yeah that's what they did back then and then all the brass goodies and everything it, it's just cool <laughs> <laughs> never gets old awesome. here's here's your horn right here oh yeah. that's the one right there yeah, okay yeah. right there <laughs> pretty slick yeah, that's cool if you want your car shop or collection featured on the show then shoot us an email at cars shops and collections at gmail.com that's cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections.